Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare this week, part two. Starting off with Thursday, we talked about how the CDC has announced that there are over four and a half million cases of the flu this year alone, with over 40,000 hospitalizations. The American Heart Association also released a study talking about how depression and anxiety are linked to higher rates of heart attacks, especially when the two diagnoses are combined together. We also talked about a study from the American College of Cardiology, how the LA wildfires caused millions of individuals to be impacted through increased ER visits, as well as overall systemic issues. We discussed how the Medicare drug prices are likely to decrease for patients in 2026 for some of the most popular medications, while others are expected to rise. The Health and Human Services Department cut funding for certain projects of the American Academy of Pediatrics based off of some controversial topics. The Trump administration moved to block federal funding for transgender care. And lastly, we talked about a study on Alzheimer's blood tests that found that there were low levels in individuals under the age of 70, but those over the age of 90, almost one third of them had positive results. Now, if you want a more in-depth analysis, you can find it either on the YouTube page where we do a video every day, or you can go to the Substack, which has the most in-depth analysis about it, where we break down the numbers, how the studies were done, and links to all the articles as well. But I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.